Travelling has been fraught with uncertainties for 10 months. However, a new variant of coronavirus prevalent in Brazil has prompted the UK to ban travellers from South America and Portugal for the time being. British and Irish nationals returning from South America and Portuguese territories will have to quarantine with their families for 10 days. From a scientific perspective, it makes sense to act urgently because we are really concerned about these variants and there are good reasons to be concerned about them. Yes, we don't know absolutely what their impact is, but at least what we're seeing in the laboratory is very concerning. Uh, so if we don't take immediate action, I think the risks are huge. Often criticised for its slow response to the COVID pandemic, the UK government says this action is justified. There are about, I think there are 12,000 different variants. It's not unusual uh, at all. Uh, and as far as I can see, there have been no flights in the last week from uh, Brazil. Even if there were, people were required in any case legally to quarantine uh, from Brazil. So no, we've acted extremely quickly, given there are 12,000 different variants of coronavirus. However, the testing of travellers arriving in the UK, even from a travel ban country like Portugal, still appears to be lax. No one actually checked my passenger location form. I was expecting them to. I filled it in before I boarded, but no one asked for it. Medical scientists support the latest travel ban, but there are questions why more testing isn't done at sea and airports. Meanwhile, with high numbers of COVID deaths in the UK, the government is keen to vaccinate up to 15 million people before the end of February. So far, almost 3 million have already received their jabs. To get those numbers up, Pharmacies, as well as hospitals and doctors' surgeries, are being pressed into action. Yolo Af David, CGTN, London.